Well everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus and see how this specific holds up in the middle part of 2023. Now I will tell you, not much has changed for these types of phones. I would say throughout the beginning of this year to now, we did get a new version of Android, but that may have already came out for your phone like by the time my early 2023 review of this thing came out. So I will tell you, the hardware of this phone is still great. The software is still doing decent, but I will say in this day and age, it may make a little bit more sense to buy a more recent phone or a phone that's came out a little bit more recently, but we'll talk about that throughout the you know, duration of this video. The first thing I'll tell you though, the outside of this phone looks phenomenal still. On the front, you have a massive 6.7 inch dynamic AMOLED display. It's 1440p and it's a beautiful panel. I'm a humongous fan of this type of screen and I still think it looks very, very good. It's, you know, pretty much almost bezel-less. You have a whole punch display on the top. And I definitely do think that this is a very good phone for sure. Now you're getting USB type C port on the bottom, which is awesome. You're getting the glass on the back, which is also very good. You're getting a quadruple camera setup kind of on the back, which still looks very nice. And overall, the outside of this phone looks very, very good. It's very modern. Although there's some things that it's kind of missing, like a frosted glass back. Maybe that's the only thing this is missing. Other than that, it's still a very, very good looking phone for sure. Now, on top of that, I still think the display of this thing is phenomenal. And the camera of this thing is still very, very good. You know, like I said, kind of a quadruple camera setup. You're getting 8K video on the back, 4K at 60 on the front. This is still a camera that's going to be holding up very, very well for the next, even the se next several years. It's already been about three years since this phone came out, and this camera has already held up very well, and probably in the next few years, it's also going to be up there. Now, unfortunately, this is the classic case of hardware being better than software, and the software side of things, this phone, you know, it's not going to be lasting forever. We all know this. But Samsung just makes such good hardware that lasts so long that by the time it gets its last version of Android, the hardware is still good. You know, there's still lots of things that this phone has that a lot of phones that are still supported with software don't have. You know, I would say the quad camera on the back is very good. The 1440p display is very good. And I mean, I would say the body of this thing and the size of this thing is beautiful. 120 hertz display as well. Like this is a very good looking phone. So again, it's just kind of sad that this phone is going to be unsupported with software, but that's just kind of what happens here. It happens year after year after year. And the fact that the Galaxy S21 could actually end up getting discontinued or unsupported with software next year, is actually pretty insane in and of itself as well. So that kind of covers it up there. Now on the performance side, we do actually have that Snapdragon 865 chipset inside with eight gigabytes of RAM. Now, as I mentioned before, personally, I definitely do think the amount of RAM that this type of phone has is good enough. And I do think the performance that this phone has is also very decent. For what it was at that time, it was a good performing phone. And that was something that, again, I kind of did like about this type of device. When you're getting a phone like the Galaxy S20, you know, plus in this, you know, situation, you're still getting a phone that's still kind of, it's not, it's not, is supported with software and it's still supported with software kind of, but it's still a very good phone. And I've always felt like that was something that was very cool with a device like this, that it is, you know, up there in terms of performance. So I haven't really had too many complaints about it. And I do think that in and of itself is a really cool thing going for this type of device. So to kind of sum up this whole entire video, what I'll definitely tell you is, although I don't think the S20 Plus would be the first phone I would recommend people to buy, I do think it's a pretty decent phone and maybe it's worth buying at that moment, but I probably would avoid buying this specific phone in this day and age, mostly because, you know, there's just not a big reason to go ahead and buy it. You're much better off buying something that's still even somewhat supported with software, the S21 Plus, the S22, the S21. Devices like that are probably going to give you a much better experience than this type of device, if I'm being honest, mostly because the lack of software updates now. So that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.